Hello everyone and welcome to Cast Days. Today we are going to check out the museum and uh, it's uh, way down in southern Alberta. The town is Etzikam and if you wonder where that is, it's about three and a half hours to the southeast of the city of Calgary, which is a major center to give you a little bit of an idea where we are at. With Etzikam being a small town, it's a small town museum, but very rich in history. And we're going to touch on all kinds of different little items today. So hopefully that's of any interest and you join us on this uh, journey. In this area, we'll have kind of a mock town set up from a hotel barber shop. Uh, I think a school is here as well. But right now we are just walking into uh, the barber shop see an old barber chair here. I think they're quite collectible these days, I'm not quite sure. An old bath top and uh, then over here we have a sitting bath which looks horribly uncomfortable. I'm not sure how an adult was gonna fit in there. I put some information on by the way. I'm not sure if you know how the barber pole with the stripes red, white and blue came all about. But if you pause it, you can read up real quick what each uh, color stands for. Quite interesting that a barber was not just a barber. Here we have some old advertising, as you've seen the famous Coke sign, everybody knows. Then I think that's for some uh, motor oils and uh, all kind of different things. Shoemaker. Hey guys, by the way. Drink Coca-Cola, it's a yellow sign here. I always thought they are red. So if anybody has any information why this sign is yellow here, uh, unless it's faded out, but it doesn't look that way, please let us know in the comments. Here we have an old general store with the scales and some kind of a calculator. I always kind of like these nicely done up, cleaned up uh, cash registers find them a little bit fascinating and just something classic and elegant about them. Well, we leave the uh, merchant or merchandise store and uh, gonna check in or out, I guess, whichever way we want to put it, the old hotel in Etzikon. So here we have the guest sign-in book. And once I looked a little bit closer, I think some of the dates date back to 1921. I see there on April 17th, 1921. That's over a hundred years ago. I guess here we got the uh, computer of the day. Heating source of the day to keep warm a little bit. And apparently this is some kind of a beer barrel. Check out this phone here. Quite different from what you have these days. Now we're going to enter the room. There was no uh, toilets or flowing water, so you had a wash basin with a pot with some water here, I guess some soap in the mirror. That's how you clean up in these days. There's still somebody waiting to check out. And uh, just a single room with a bed and you had your suitcase down here. It was kind of the accommodation of the day. It's horse and buggy. Kind of considered this the sports car of the times. Looks somewhat elegant if you compare it with some, some other wagons. Here we have a setup how a blacksmith shop would have potentially looked like. Guess you had to be a little bit multi-talented from uh, shoeing horses and fixing some farm equipment and uh, who knows what else. I would imagine it was pretty hot and smoky place as well to work in. So we see some tools of the trade here. An anvil, hammer, kind of synonymous with a blacksmith shop. The forge over here. Here we have a case eagle. I think they are quite collectible items if you search online. I think I've seen them before. 
I don't really know the history or the story behind it, but if we pause, you may be able to read up on it here. Then we move on. Western saddle, horse, mode of transportation. And then we're going to see uh, the buggy again here. You see the little suitcase in the back of it. As I said, it's kind of the sports car of the day. You didn't really have space for luggage. But what I was surprised of, it's 1921, 29, I can't quite remember now. And that you actually already needed a license plate for these wagons. I was not aware of it. Again, if you have some info or more history of that, let us know. And here we have a school with the English, the Union Jack, as uh, you know, Canada belonged to the uh, Commonwealth. An old Alberta map. And of course, then uh, here we have the famous chalkboard. Not even sure if that's still in school. It's been a few years, to say the least, that I was in a classroom. So I'm not even sure if that's still a, such a thing these days. There's royalty from the English crown in here. I'm not quite sure if this was actually here. Uh, Queen Elizabeth that passed away, I think, last year or the year before already. Can't remember now already. I think that was perhaps her uh, her dad there, but I'm not 100% certain. History, a lot of history in here. Do you enjoy it? Do you like it so far? Let's keep wandering around, see what else we can find. Well, not 100% sure what exactly I'm looking at here. I think that might have been some kind of a sausage maker here um, here I'm not sure laundry that has something to do with laundry bring it out wash it but anyways we moved on to the music room I find this book here with the little uh, player inside quite neat gonna see a lot of old uh, well not a lot but some old pianos and uh, some of them they actually also call uh, four setsers not quite sure what that is, to be honest. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Much appreciated, as always. I guess in the older days you had your record players, some kind of a piece of furniture in a cabinet, so when it wasn't used, you just kind of closed the lid and put a ways on top or anything like that, so it just looked like a regular uh, piece of furniture. This one has a crank. I'm not quite sure how that exactly worked. If you just uh, were winding them up and let them play or or how you even set the speed for the bigger or smaller uh, vinyl records. If that was even such a thing in these days. I again don't know, but let us know if you do. Now this here, well I call it a piano, but it's not really a piano. I think they call it a four setzer. Yeah, here it is. It's prior to 1908 and uh, with the, I'm not sure if it's paper, it reminds me kind of a little bit of a, of a music box. So how to play, no idea. And then down here it has some pedals. If they were called pedals, at least, probably not, but at least that's what I call them, for a lack of a better term. So I'm not really, or I'm not knowledgeable at all when it comes to music and music instruments, to be honest with you guys. Here we have the mp3 players of the time, but I guess mp3 players are already outdated as well these days. But anyways, find it kind of uh, fascinating. Uh, this one here is, I think, another kind of a four sets of thing. So I really have no idea why it wasn't just regular pianos, what uh, the paper and all that kind of stuff was for. Check out the size of these radios here. They're just humongous. Must have, I assume, these vacuum tubes in there. That was before the transistor days. It's another four sets again. I think that's the last one in this room here. So we are going to walk over next door 
holy smoke, we are next door. And it's a whole room full of uh, dolls, all kinds of uh, size, small to relatively big. I think some of them are two, three feet tall. So I'm gonna give you a quick glimpse. Uh, they're all dressed up, assuming dresses of the time, the period. Not that I know anything about dolls or clothing or anything. Here is something more modern, at least I heard of it. I think that's a whole section of uh, different Barbie dolls from different years and different occasions. I see there 20, no, 2002 is one. This one I can't quite make out. Oh, 2004. So as I said, they are from all different years. Let's check this out real quick and see. Now, while we admire all these dolls here, you can, by the way, also support us on patreon.com forward slash cast days. The dolls we have here in this corner, they're actually pretty big. I think they're about two or three feet tall. some women's dresses here from the period that time well we're gonna go next door and check out an old Anglican church all right here we're gonna enter an old church squeak of the door and all here we have an old uh, stove I guess that was used to heat up but as I was saying, if you are from the neighborhood or the area and you wish to drop by or have questions where or how exactly to find this place, let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching our video as we are on the way out the door here. Much appreciated. We shall see you again in the next one.